All right, guys. Hi and welcome. Today we're going to do something fun. We're going to compare two software. So one of them are a bit older and I see them as the top on the industry for what they do. Move AI, uh, which is a video to motion capture, which basically you give it a video and it gives you motion capture or uh, you, it gives you an animation done and done. Right. Uh, the other one is a new one. I haven't heard about it before, but I started testing it for about two weeks now and i really like that as well so now i'm gonna compare these two and see which is the better the newcomer or the og so basically when it comes to signing in it's just the same stuff you just google them move.ai or quickmagic.com and just sign up for a try for free and as you can see they have a lot to offer and you can use it on the web iphone and ipad they don't have any cap on video and the setup is pretty easy and I just did it with the Google and we're happy with that. So when you get in there, you just have this hub uh, and here you can see the, your credits and whatever. Basically, you just hit upload and choose the file that you want to upload. And when it comes to quick magic, it's the same thing, but I just want to note that you have to write your email and then go to the capture under and send code and then you will get the code on your email because I messed up your Google account just as the other one straightforward. When you get into quick magic, you're just going to see uh, this hub and as well, you can go into my project, but where you want to go is AI mocap and here you can just drag and drop your video. You can take a roll detection um, and then just wait a minute and then you can see that they have multiple blue stuff then you just drag your character to the one that you want to have and take the next step and here you can see you can have full body upper body hands face uh, static camera and moving camera and if you wanted to have an a pose or a t pose as the first frame you can have that as well and also you have the possibility to edit the video which is something that i loved with the software so basically here i found a tutorial for doing some cool tricks on youtube and when i get in here you can see he doesn't show the whole thing before the end and i could then just go in find where it starts and just clip it and then move on and it would just give me that clip and not the whole tutorial right and if you're using the free version or paid version you would waste your coins or points or whatever they call it uh, on taking the whole video and then you just find the point where the character is the cleanest and then you take roll detection on the character so as you can see there press roll detection and just wait so I went to YouTube as well to just get an over 10 second long dance video because I think this is some movement that gonna be hard and I just gave them the both the same video. So when it comes to Move AI, they didn't let me edit the video in their software and I ended up wasting my points. Uh, so I had to go into Premiere and cut the video to that segment that I actually wanted, which wasn't a good feeling to like have to do that and there you can see when I gave it the whole video uh, it kind of just took everything and ended up getting weird and I didn't like the preview the preview is really really small I don't know if this is because it's meant for a phone or uh, here you can see the dance and uh, the dance looks way better it seems like it was more what it was meant for uh, and then you can just download it as an FBX, which is really, really sweet. And then I just moved it into Cascador. And this is uh, both Quick Magic and Move AI overlapping each other just to see. And as you can see, they have some different issues. Uh, we can point out some of them that, for an example, they have clipping to the ground, which is pretty usual. Um, seems like Quick Magic does it a bit more. Uh, but quick magic is a bit better to balance the character. It seems like their physics engine is working better. Uh, as you can see, it balances the center of the mass for the character. Uh, when it comes to move AI, it seems like it's not clipping too much. Uh, somehow it's really stuck in the middle, um, which is basically, I think that a middle part between these two in the movement should be the best 
And moving forward, then I can see that the head for the quick magic is correct. Uh, something was overdone on the move AI for the head. Both of them are, <laughs> it's an easy fix. And it seems really good. Uh, I love the hip movement on them and the flow of the legs is really, really good. Uh, it seems like move AI is stuttering a lot, especially at the end. And it's doing some weird stuff with the hands because this video didn't have anything on the hands. They were just kind of close into them. But somehow Move AI took that for being uh, finger animations. Well, I love the, the movement in the fingers, like it gives life. Um, so that's a plus um, on that way. It just should be taken from actual movement. As you can see, the quick magic didn't care about the hands. Uh, it couldn't read anything and thereby it just kept static. Uh, quick magic also have a lot of more clipping through his own body. Not too much awareness around that. Uh, I'm a bit unsure about a lot of things in this animation. Uh, I love the foot movement on the quick magic somehow better because the other one seems so sliding. And as you can see here, the foot moves in a weird manner. Uh, the shoulders, I'm a bit unsure if they are supposed to be like that, so I'm not gonna take that into consideration, but the foot seems a bit weird to be that broken. Uh, also the balancing of the character, as you can see, and both of them are Moving a bit weird when it comes to the sideways, but Quick Magic actually does it better, it seems like. Uh, and floating seems like to be uh, something that Move AI does a lot, but then again, Quick Magic is going more underground, so they are kind of just balancing each other out. They should really move together. Uh, here you can see the preview that you get in Quick Magic, which I like a little bit better because you get both the video and you get the character and you can zoom in, move around and do your stuff and it's not mobile size. So I really love that you can actually see that that well. And then we go to the 2D refinement. You cannot save or use this in the free version but I love the option that you have this in the paid version where you actually can use this software to make it better as well. As an example here you can see the kneecap is misunderstanding where it's supposed to be and you can then just take it and then you move it over but as you can see free users can only view and detect and cannot save data but then you can take and move the kneecap to where it's supposed to be and refine it. So I love that option. Okay, so pros and cons. Move AI. Move AI is much faster or much, much faster. Five minutes it takes to make one video approximately to an animation rather than seven minutes, which Quick Magic delivers in. Also, it has the possibility in a paid version to have two cameras. And I think that would fix the side staggerment that it gets in its motion capture. But in the free version, it doesn't have that and does it worse. Uh, also, it uh, can take HD video up to 60 FPS, which is really nice. And it has finger track traction as well and hands. And also, when it comes to the cons, they have no in software video editing. Uh, I hope they have that in some sort of paid version because I really don't want to open Premiere or any other software when it should be in there. Uh, they need a fixed camera and have a limitation on that. And their cleanup time of their animations are approximately the same as Quick Magic. When it comes to quick magic, they have the pros that you have the possibility to edit the video in. I can't stress that enough how much that meant for me. Uh, it's a more affordable when it only costs $10 a month. Also, you can export 
Manny, UA4, Mixamo characters, VMD, FBX, whatever you want, basically, directly from the software. I love that. Uh, you can also edit in the 2D refinement to calculate it correct if it just has some small stumbles that really don't understand especially in fast moving this is a paid version feature but i really like it it can also handle moving cameras which i find fascinating because that means that you get more user cases with this rather than you get with move ai uh, you just have to click that box in studio and it should be good when it comes to the cons, it has a limited video upload speed, both for the free version and for the medium version. So the medium version is faster and the free is really slow, uh, seven minutes. So I guessing, I don't know if the speed is increasing when you pay for Move AI. It does at least at quick magic, but it's max video import size is 200 megabytes, which can be an issue and can be that you have to redirect away your filming or you have to edit it somewhere, which is a bad thing. Quick Magic and Move AI had some issues with fast moving things like kicks going really fast, as you can see. Uh, that could really mess up the output. So when it comes to the summary of them, uh, it's a lot about user cases. So if you're a big studio and really want to get that on edge perfect stuff i would probably go for move ai and have multiple cameras and set up this designated uh, area for this if you're an indie development company i would say that quick magic would give you the best result and your animators can clean that up uh, i'm not sure uh, totally how big difference it would be if it were paid uh, and that is something that if you are interested i can test that as well on both of them but for now i would say that it's up to how you want to use it but in the free version i vote for quick magic what are your thoughts comment down below